This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 16 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com I email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. Since last December, she was diagnosed with anemia. She had less blood. And then on the 21st of June, she stopped all her medications. After that, Pastor, she heard the word through you that the Lord is going to raise her up. She believed that word without any medicine. Jesus has healed her completely. You feel fine, child? On the test, yes? Yes, child. And no medicines, nothing. You feel fine, child? From the 21st of June onwards, no medicines, nothing. She feels fine. She herself says that. Lift your hand to Jesus. My child, you believed. You believed. Jesus has done it for you. That's not enough. If you are sick and you are healed, what will you do, my beloved? Believe. So this daughter came in today with a, uh, with a pain in the neck and in a stomach pain. The Lord has healed her completely. It's All gone. All the stomach pain is gone, child. You can bend down or move yourself. You can move, do this kind of thing. Your neck pain, you can do it up completely. You came with the neck pain and the stomach. It's all gone now. Lift your hand to Jesus. Lift your hand to Jesus. Who healed this dear girl? Pastor, for one whole year, she's been having pain in her hands and in her feet. Also a burning sensation. For one week, she gave up medicines. But tonight, the pain is gone. All the pain and is gone. Like, Your leg can be moved freely, child. All the, the hand, the, the child, everything. It's all fine. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for almost a week, she could not keep her hand down because of cramps. Today, when she lifted her hand, and the Lord has healed her. Go. You can keep it down. Now how, what can you do, child? You can do anything. Do it up, down, down, up. You couldn't do that before. Mm. Now it's all there. All gone. Completely. You can wave your hand and all. Who healed this dear guy? Who healed this dear one? Everyone say Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. She was suffering with a stomach pain and a back pain. Five years. Five years. And the Lord healed her completely tonight. All the pain is gone. Your stomach pain, your back pain and all is gone. You can bend down and show her. You bend down and show her. And all the pain is gone. 
Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, for one month she had a pain in her shoulder, but tonight she's completely All the pain. Healed. You can move your hands up and down, child. Swing it up and down. For one month you had it, and God has healed you tonight. When this dear servant prayed and ministered, lift your hands to Jesus. Yes, sir, come. Pastor, for one month he had this allergy in his hand where he couldn't eat properly any food. But today the Lord has healed him completely. And you can, all that allergy, everything is gone. No swelling at all even. No, so can I beat you now? Uh, oh, no swelling at all. No swelling at all. Lift your hands to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Come. Pastor, for three years, she's been asking the Lord to baptize her with the gift of tongues. Bless you. Tonight, the Holy Spirit Oh, look at the joy and the smile in the... Yes, it's the open heavens under for you and me. Bless you. Continue to speak, my daughter, in tongues. He loves you. What a joy. What a joy to speak in tongues. The, the, oh, my beloved but once you speak to God through that language. Pastor, this brother had a pain on the left side of his ribs and he laid hands when he was asked to and the pain instantly left him. All the pain is gone, son. Completely, you can move your body off. All the pain, you just put your hand when Pastor said and it just went off. Lift your hands to Jesus. So for one year here, he had a severe neck pain but today the Lord has completely healed him. All the neck pain is gone, son. Completely gone, son. You can move your neck up and down. Up and down, son. Up and down. No pain at all. No pain at all. No pain at all. Lift your hands to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus. Live, my son. Live in Jesus' name. Pastor, in November last year, she had an accident and her hand has been paining ever since for the last come, eight come months. Down. The Lord has healed her completely today. Now she can move it without pain. No pain at all, child. You can pray. Oh, my God. Look at that. All is fine. You can give your best smile and say thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for one long year, she's been having a lot of pain in her stomach. And now the pain has left her. Jesus has healed her completely. Daughter, look at me. All the pain is gone. Completely gone, child. You can bend down and show me, daughter. You can, you can move your twist, your body and all. Although you do you have any pain. No pain at all. No pain. All his pain is gone. Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Thank you. Give the Lord a big applause, my darling children. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Live, my daughter. Live in Jesus' name. Someone here has been healed. Just on your knees here. Move here, my beloved. It's for no one's gain. Don't hold it back because it's only lifting Jesus. When you lift Jesus, Jesus will lift you everywhere. Pastor, she's the one with the knee pain. She had it for two long weeks and now Jesus has healed her. Move your knees, child. You can bend it down. You can squat or do something. All the pain is gone, child. You can move it again. No pain at all. Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. This your Lord Jesus tells me now, this is a sign of a greater victory. Your knees have been healed. Your feet will walk victoriously now in Jesus' name. Go and live, my daughter, in Jesus' name. When through the woods, Jesus is here tonight. And for us, I wander and hear Sing sweetly in the breeze. He's by your side tonight. When I look down, forget everyone in this place. On lofty mountain grandeur, he alone is worthy in this place. He alone is worthy in this place. The gentle breeze. Every hand be lifted up to him. Then sings my soul. Every hand be lifted up. Savior God to me. How great thou art. You alone are great. You alone are mighty. How great thou art. 
that is none compatible to you, God. Sings my soul. He will bless you. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He is here today. Thank you, Jesus. How great thou art. Every yoke of bondage is destroyed by the great Holy Spirit. Oh, what? My beloved children, Jesus picked him for his faithfulness. Jesus picked him for his enduring loyalty in the midst of pain. In the midst of sorrow, in the midst of failure, in the midst of struggle, in the midst of agony, in the midst of many, many temptations, he was still there. Jesus picked him up. My loving children, he picked, he said, stand forth in the midst. Your praises is what I need today. God was going to tell him something in a little moment. My beloved, he stand forth in the midst, he said. You be the one to praise me. You be the one to thank me when everything is collapsing. No job, no salary, no home, no family, no health, no peace, no joy. A thorough failure looked down upon every, by everyone, accused by everyone, probably cursed by everyone. But you rise up and begin to praise Jesus tonight. In the midst of your problem, in the midst of your pain, you praise Jesus because he has defeated Satan already. My beloved, you have been guaranteed victory by Jesus already, beloved. It's time you rise up and receive your miracle. It's time, my beloved, this is your rest because God doesn't want you to struggle. He has won the victory. God doesn't want you to face the defeated devil. He has faced him and defeated him, disarmed him, beloved. Otherwise, Colossians 2, verse 14 and 15, 1 John 3, 8 will never be there in the Bible. My loving child, my beloved child, you don't have to face any adversary alone. Holy Spirit will face on your behalf. Isaiah 59 verse 19. When the defeated devil is like a roaring lion waiting to tempt you, waiting to scare you, waiting to discourage you. He may go round and round. Everywhere he goes, Holy Spirit will come and stand before you. He comes there, Holy Spirit will come and stand before you. Oh, he'll go behind, Holy Spirit will come and stand before you. Oh, the defeated devil cannot see you. How many of you believe tonight? Because of the Holy Spirit, beloved. He is the one who leads us. Oh, beloved. Jesus is here tonight. Oh, believe. Why do you want to talk about the defeated devil? Why do you want to talk about the defeated Satan? Don't give him a time of your life, beloved. Oh, talk Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank Jesus. Exalt Jesus. Lift up Jesus. Honor Jesus. All the time shout, Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. My beloved, Holy Spirit will stand before you. Holy Spirit will go before you. Holy Spirit will lift the standard of God. My beloved, there are times when you are weak. There are times when you are forsaken. There are times when you say, God, I can't believe. When he saw that mother bringing that dead boy, he didn't ask that mother, can you believe? He didn't ask that mother. Certain people he asked, but that particular mother he didn't ask. He, she was full of sorrow. She was shattered in life. He said, weep not. Henceforth you will not weep. That is the other side of the meaning. Oh, beloved, Jesus will face your adversary. Jesus will face through the Holy Spirit every enemy of your life. My beloved, oh, my darling children, God didn't save you to fight. He saved you for faith, to rejoice all the time that he has done. He has done it. That's your faith. He has done it for me. That's your faith. He has done it for me. That's your faith. He has forgiven me. That's your faith. He died and rose from the dead. That's your faith. His blood gives me victory. That's your faith. His Holy Spirit in me will give me the victory always. 
You don't have to fight. You don't have to find ways and means now how to combat the defeated devil in your family, in your finance, in your health. You rest in him. Rely on him. Rejoice in him. Rejoice in him. Because he has won the victory for you. Try him today once at least. Those who are here for the first time. Try him once. You will never leave him anytime. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. The son of the living God. Rely on him. Rest in him. Rejoice in him. Jesus said stand forth. And what did he say? Stretch forth your hand. Now this hand, the right hand, that's the hand that holds people. That's the hand that carries. That's the hands that always help someone. Some people eat with their right hand. Some people eat with both hands. God bless them. My loving children. Well, that's, this is the hand that works. This is the hands that lift. No, oh, this is the explicit, explicit expression of life is through the right hand always. Left is a support hand always. It's the right. How many of you have your right hand intact today? Lift it up to Jesus. My loving children. My dear, you're all blessed people. Blessed people. He's here today. He loves you. This man's right hand could not be lifted up. There was no life. There was no strength. There were no bones. There was no skin. There was no blood. There was only shame. And criticism and curse and sorrow in his life. Jesus said, you stand forth. You rely on me. You rest in me. You rejoice in me. Now, he was watching. Everyone was, he said, stretch forth that hand. He didn't say, now I will heal you. After that, you stretch your hand. No. He said, stretch that hand. He could have said, sir, I can't even move this hand. I can't move this hand. No joints. The bones have come out. The skin has been washed out. Oh, the hand is drawn up. No strength, no life. No, how can you ask me to lift this hand? I will lift this other hand, Lord. No. Jesus said, stretch that hand. My loving child, don't limit God by your understanding and my understanding. He doesn't work on the limit of your faith and my faith. He works on his faith, my beloved. His power. He is almighty. Lift your hands to him. He is beyond our thinking. What can this little preacher think of this great God? He is beyond. Elisha said, 2 Kings 3rd chapter, verse 16, 17 and 18. Dig your ditches or the valley. Oh, beloved, he said, Dig those valleys. Rest in him. Rely in him. Rejoice in him. You may be facing the worst problem in your life. You won't have the clouds. You won't have the sun, uh, rain. You won't have the thunder. You won't have the lightning. But every valley that you made will be full of water. That's what Elisha said. That is the modern Elisha right now telling you this in Jesus' name. Living until rapture in Jesus' name. The truth of God's love and power with signs, wonders, and miracles instantly happening is now released on this new book entitled Because I Live, You Shall Live Also. This book is a miracle life-changing Holy Spirit-inspired truth. Email us on God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com Again, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com and get this book for free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com and our new email, godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Also, your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you. Even now, send it to us. We will praise God with you at our new email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com and remember our new website yourmiraclelife.com God loves you Jesus loves you it is an easy sim thing for God for me and you it's terrible difficult impossible but for God 
it is easy. Second Kings 3, 18. To bless you, it is so easy for God. To heal you, it is so easy for God. To lift you, it is so easy for God. To close the doors of the defeated devil, it is easy for God. To restore every good things in your life, it is easy for God. To prosper you and position you in life, it is easy for God. To destroy every work of the enemy in your life, it's easy for God. That's why you rest in him, you rejoice in him, you rely in him. My beloved, Jesus said, search for that hand. Others could have, Peter or John could have said, I don't know why Jesus is asking to do this. This man cannot move his hand. There is no hand, literally. Jesus said, search for that hand. That little that you have, just move that. That little that you have. He's asking not much from you and me. He's asking just today, just believe I love you. Just believe I died for you. Just believe I rose from the dead for you. Just believe all your sins are forgiven, washed by my blood, Jesus says. Just believe I have defeated Satan and death and curse and hell and sickness and disease for your sake and my sake. Jesus tells me and tells you. Oh, my, he doesn't want us to believe great things. He doesn't rely on, he is not limited by my faith. He works by his faith. He works by his love. He works by his power. He works by him. He is God Almighty. My beloved, that man just, just moved his hand. The Holy Bible says the right hand became whole like the other hand. Instantly, beloved. Instantly, my loving children, instantly, my beloved, such miracles are happening even now in Jesus' name. My loving children, today, just believe that he has won the victory for you. It is for you to rise up now and take your miracle because he has done it for you. Just rest in him. Don't think, oh, it has been like this for so many years. Oh, the defeated Satan has done that. Oh, the defeated Satan has done that. Oh, they have said there is a prophet who came and told me there is a curse upon your grandfather that came upon your father and it's now you have to fast for 15 days. My darling, that's all fine. But I tell you something that is true. Jesus has won the victory for you. 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 What are you still waiting for? My beloved, what are we waiting for? Today he is picking you up and promoting you to come to that position and prosper in life. He is doing it for you. He loves you. That man just stretched his hand. That is also an expression of faith. I praise you, God. I can do nothing to help me. I can do nothing to help my family. I can do nothing to help my health. I can do nothing to help my situation. I surrender all. I surrender all. That's the sign of that. I surrender, God. I tried myself. I thought I can do this. I can do this. No, I surrender. I give up relying on myself. I rely on you. I give up rejoicing in anything else, but rejoice in you, Lord, for what you have done for me. I give up now. Resting for my sake, I give up that. I don't want rest for my sake. My rest is when I bring you glory, when I bring you honor, when I bring you praises, when I bring you fruit. That is my rest in my life. That every cell of my body will be quickened by your power. He is here tonight. Your life will never be withered again. The hand became whole like the other hand. Your home will rise up with joy in Jesus' name. Your family will rise up and be prosperous in Jesus' name. Your children will rise up and you will live to live. See your children's children, every one of you, in Jesus' name. None of you, your home will be put to shame, my loving children. Your children will be blessed in their going and in their coming. Oh, they will bring honor to you in Jesus' name. 
He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You will never be weak and feeble. Psalm 105 verse number 37. Even in old age, you will bear fruit. Psalm 92, verse 13 and 14. Oh, he loves you. He is here today. Oh, he is here today. You will be like a young man or a young woman for Christ and in Christ. Psalm 103, verse number 4 and 5. My loving child, he is with long life. He will satisfy you and me. Psalm 91, verse number 16. Oh, hallelujah. He is here today. John 11, verse number 26. Those who believe shall never die. He is here today. The great one. Every sickness, every disease will disappear any time now. Every pain, every defeated symptom, every fear, every sorrow, every witheredness. You wanted to give up. You wanted to get away. You wanted to cry. You wanted to weep. My darling child, Jesus says, weep not. He is picking you up to bring a miracle in your life. That man didn't argue. He didn't reason out. He didn't say, but this is not right. I can't lift my hand. No, my child, rest in him. He will do it for you. Rejoice in him. He will do it for you. Rely in him. He will do it for you. The peace that Jesus is, he will take it and give it to you. The joy that Jesus is, he will take and give it to you. Every goodness and mercy that Jesus is, he will take and give it to you, my beloved. That is why the great Holy Spirit is here. Oh, he's here, John 16, verse 14 and 15. Everything of Jesus, he will take and give it to you. He's here today. Your life will never be sorrowful again. No one shall cause you cursed. They will call you blessed in Jesus' name. Reverend Dil Kumar will be ministering in Kampala, Uganda, 15, 16 and 17 November 2013. 4 p.m. onwards, Kazo Primary School Playground, Kampala. Admission is free. Join us for a miracle healing and blessing festival. Come and experience the love of God. Jesus loves you. For further info, please call 0772-402-709. 0752402709 or visit www.yourmiraclelife.com or Facebook page Miracle Moments. Come and be blessed. Signs, Wonders and Miracles 12th edition Ministry Magazine Documented reports of amazing outstanding miracles and real life healing testimonies and great revival all across the globe such as a man instantly raised to life from 25 days coma a crippled young girl with crutches instantly healed and many more healing testimonies. Email us on God's love at your miracle life .com. Again, email us on God's love at your miracle life .com and get this book free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com and our new email, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com. Also, your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you, even now, send it to us. We will praise God with you at our new email, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com. And remember, our new website, yourmiraclelife.com. God loves you, Jesus loves you.